I'm Jae Young, I'm a cellist, and what you just heard is self-expression. Don't believe me? Just look deep down into every musician's soul. Empty, dark, void of soul to be replaced with notes to memorize, pieces to master. Every composer's undying soul lives through their work, and the only way we can strive is through their music and dedicating our lives to the great composers of the past. But, but let me, let me just, I just want to catch one more fish. Okay, I've been catching this fish literally like four times in a row today. Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Now let's talk about self-expression. I mean, the words kind of speak for itself, right? It's expressing ourselves with what we have. There are many forms of self-expression that we can utilize to convey a thought or a feeling. We can express through movement. Dancing most prominently comes to mind, but even in everyday gestures, everybody's going to do a certain type of gesture differently. We can express visually through art. We can express ourselves with sounds. I'm currently expressing myself through a form of self-expression called talking. I know the English language, which we all know, like every language in this world, are just a bunch of sounds put together, which we project our own meaning to. How can we express ourselves with music? I can't say past the salt with, you know, this piece of wood. Well... <laughs> That was a piece called Pass the Salt. Thank you. Welcome to free improvisation, where standards are up to you and the rules are also up to you. I think this has been the best way for me as a teacher to portray self-expression through our instruments. On my previously edited vlog, I actually played with one of my students, and the end result from that improv session was really neat. It's just one of those things I want to encourage everyone to do, and teachers to teach. Because the sound of free improv is fun. It proves a few things for sure when I see the kids enjoy playing music like this, but I'm, I'm gonna talk about the main three. Number one. Kids aren't fascinated by music because of the notes or the pages or the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. They like music because of sounds. They're fascinated by sounds. Rather powerful emotional sounds where someone listening could have a reaction to it. Never mind what kind of reaction, that'll depend on the audience. But there will be an emotional response from the students understanding that they can create powerful sounds like that. Начинаю заниматься каким-нибудь музыкальным инструментом, начинает импровизировать. Это начало креативности. You've basically given them a whole palette of sounds that they can number 2 explore and experiment with. They get to immediately see and feel this action on my instrument causes my instrument to sound like this. They're always turning over rocks and plucking petals off of flowers. They're always doing things that by and large are destructive. And uh, <laughs> no, that's what exploration kind of is. If you, you take stuff apart, whether or not you know how to put it back together. This is what kids do. And that helps with number three, physical and auditory recognition and reaction. I'm sure, I think there's a term for that, I think, but I can't remember. Our ears are sharp and especially for developing kids. We have been since the primitive times in order to survive, but those also need to be just as developed. И мне кажется, это свойство человека должно быть продолжено на всю остальную жизнь. Just like how a hunter would gain a lot of information from a bird call, from miles away, uh, notifying a predator or something. Maybe that's a bit of a stretch. We can gain a lot of information by pressing on the bow and crunching away and hearing what that sounds like. We get first-hand direct experience of experimenting without the aid of any notes on a page. They get to experiment with tone, varieties of intonation, pressure, weight, dynamic, emotion, range, which we need as much in music like this. Thank you.
Thank you.